Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new paint and talk. And while I'm doing this um, um, base coat on this um, spell or endless spell, this uh, one of the I think it's called. I always need to check the name of this. The Quonom uh, Antic Cox. Uh, it always. So while I'm doing that, uh, I would like to talk about. Something that I find uh, uh, a topic that is quite interesting is to talk about the level painting, the, the hobby. Okay, so uh, one thing I will advise: uh, the hobby should be something that you do for fun, right? Uh, if you feel obliged, it can be tedious and can be can be discouraging, right? Because we have enough obligations in our life. To put another one that is just the obligation to paint because it's fun. So you paint because it's fun, but you don't need to have this obligation. So when I go, I'm coming here to paint, it's because I'm really enjoying spending this time painting and doing this stuff. When this is an obligation, you have to think why is this an obligation. For example, in my case, uh, I used to do some um, uh, what's called these commissions in the past, right? I stopped doing that because uh, having a deadline, having all, although I was enjoying doing that and it's a job, a, jo a, a job that I would like, when it's my leisure time, when it's my time, it's a time for me, I don't want to have another type of job where I have an obligation to deliver in a day and so on and so on, right? So this was a, a thing for me, but there are people, for example, there is a lot of pressure always to be the best, right? Uh, you don't need to be the best, you need to be happy with what you do. Uh, normally I try to improve myself because I like to see how I can do the things differently, but yeah, if I recognize that there are people that do better than me, and sometimes I also uh, think I don't want to spend hours and hours to paint a miniature. It's not what I'm looking And if it's what you like, it's, it's what I mean is it's depending on everyone, not because some people likes Compet painting competition, not because some people like really painting to the highest detail, means that it is the same thing for you. So what I'm trying to say here is that find what makes your hobby fun, right? What makes you enjoy the hobby. Uh, if you just paint because you like to have a nice collection of painting miniatures, but uh, you don't want to spend hours and hours in, on a miniature, okay? Do it in your own way, okay? Don't don't be don't judge yourself based on the work of others. This which will be maybe the advice here, right? Uh, if you like to compete, of course you will need uh, to improve and you need to learn techniques and you need to do better every time. So be aware of what each also all uh, each decision on on your hobby represents. I know that people only paint to play, so they don't need to go. To a super high level, they don't need to keep improving every time. They don't need to, no, because they just want top uh, table to middle, and with that they are happy. We should not judge for that. Everybody, uh, it's at the level they want to be, and the level they feel happy, right? And this will be maybe the best advice. So paint at the level uh, that you are happy. And if you don't want to be top notch in painting, or you don't want to spend hours and hours, I would say everybody wants to be always the best, right? But this thing, this, this, this thinking that we always have to be the best in all what we do and we have to improve and we have to keep doing, sometimes it's killing the lizard time, it's killing your hobby, right? Why, uh, we, are, we have in our nature to compete in a lot of points. I think this is also go for gaming. We always uh, are focused a lot on competing, on winning. But don't forget what is the ultimate objective of playing and what is the ultimate objective of the hobby. It's not winning. It's enjoying a leisure time. It's enjoying something, a time where you are not uh, doing something that is for work, in most of the cases. Of course, there will be pit painters. Uh, if you are commissioning painter, this is a completely different picture and has nothing to do with the speech I'm doing here. This is mainly for people that does the hobby because they enjoy the hobby, because they like, uh, they, 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 they just want to paint and to have nice painted miniatures. 
and at the level that you feel comfortable and that you want. So think what is the level that you want to be, not the level that the people is telling you have to be. And this is very important. Uh, sometimes we have this like uh, this social pressure that we have to do each meter better than the previous one. That if the next meter is not better, it's like you are failing. It's not true. Not always the next meter is better than the previous one because you are experimenting. Or because uh, you don't want to spend as much time on this meter. So I will not spend... Uh, when I was painting, uh, painting um, uh, Magnus the Red, I spent a lot of time in blending and doing this and, and doing the feathers and doing... But, yeah, when I'm doing troops or other things, I don't spend the same amount of time. I go for... I want them to be painted, to be nice at, at the level that I like it and to be ready for tabletop, right? Because these are meters to play. Uh, I don't know, when I was painting the silver tower, I, the gown sumner is a meter that I like a lot. So I spent quite some time in doing blending and color transitions and so on. But then I paint the gavots. For me, were not yeah, were interesting meters, but it's not something that I want to spend too much time. I went for an easy, fast paint job, right? And the same can happen on all the things. So like the goblins, uh, the global goblins that I paint quite recently. I didn't want to go to super high detail because on top of the meters the team that they will join is not is quite old and I will not repaint the, the, the old team, right? So I don't want this to be super highly detailed and then the rest not. But it's like, now here another example, when I'm painting these things, these endless spells, it's not my objective really to spend, to do blendings, edge highlight. I will do some blending, some nice effects. So uh, uh, I will do maybe a couple of things on the magical, glowing to make this magical type of look and that's all and then the rest quite basic um, a white dry brush next okay but and the other thing and, and I think I'm going more now to motivation the other thing that keeps me painting painting a, a miniature for me painting a miniature on the high detail a complex miniature uh, can be sometimes quite tiring uh, from time to time I want to go for something easy I, I've been painting my, my Imperial Knights for uh, the display for the um, Arbison Parade, okay? And this was quite tiring because it's, it's painting a lot of wind miniatures one after each other. When I finished painting them and also doing freehand and so on, the first thing I wanted to do is to do a small, a small miniature. Or, as I'm doing now, to do something that is quite easy, straightforward, and you don't have to think too much what you have to do. You just play couple of techniques, you do a nice finishing and ready for the game, okay? So this is a, um, maybe the summary is don't feel obliged to go to the always to the competitive painting level. Don't feel obliged to play competitive all your games. Remember, you do this because you get fun from that. So don't forget this part because sometimes we forget this part when we are competing. Okay, you do that because you have passion and you get fun. If you are not getting fun, is this becoming an obligation? You are doing something wrong. Okay, this can happen maybe if you are preparing yourself for a tournament and you want to be ready for that tournament. But if you are like that always, you are doing. Uh, uh, my feeling is you are doing something wrong, uh, unless you are doing using your painting for a commission painting. Okay. This will be my advice. And then in, if you always follow this and it's not an obligation and you do this for fun and you embrace the level that you have and you embrace the level that you want to be. I don't say that you don't have to improve. I say that you don't have to improve in each miniature. And if you don't want to improve, it's okay. Right? Uh, if you don't want to improve, it's your decision. Uh, uh, you don't need to improve. You don't feel, don't feel obliged to improve in each miniature. Do that for fun, do at the level that you are, and sometimes it's good and it's healthy to embrace mediocrity, okay? Because we are in a society that we are always forced to be the best. We always want to be the winners. We are working in a company, we have to be the first company, blah, 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 blah. We have to be the first on this point, we have to be the first on that. Sometimes it's a good, healthy thing, just embrace a little bit the mediocrity, to be happy, to embrace what you have, to embrace the level that you have, to embrace the money. So it's, it's really like a 
I'm becoming a little bit philosophical about life philosophy, but it's something that uh, sometimes uh, when I play, I play to win, uh, but sometimes you just want to do something for fun and you don't care if you win or you lose, you just want to get fun. So, yeah, this will be my, my point. So do that because it's fun and if what you want and if you don't need to be the best, just sometimes it's good to embrace the mediocrity. That's all for this video. I hope you find this chat interesting. Please leave in the comments below what do you think, what is your opinion. And yeah, and let me know if you agree or disagree on what I explain here. As usual, I'm looking forward to see your comments. I hope you find this topic interesting. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye!